and the one, and the two, and the one, two, three. Hola. Hola! Welcome back to our channel. I'm Marcella. I'm Robin. Today we're going to talk about Indonesia and the Netherlands and why they are such great countries to live in. And we're going to talk about a few things about both countries. But before we start, don't forget to turn on the subtitle so you can follow our conversation. Mooi, laten we gaan beginnen. First, we're gonna talk about the general knowledge about both countries. The Netherlands is approximately 41,000 square kilometers in size and we almost have 17 and a half million inhabitants. And Indonesia is 1.9 million square kilometers with around 260 million inhabitants. If you put Indonesia and you put it on the map of Europe, it would stretch from west to east, from London to Moscow. And this is the comparison between part of Indonesia with the Netherlands. Wow, that's really small. Yeah. Alright, so let's start off talking about the weather. As we all know, Indonesia is a tropical island. Well, yeah. Flashback. Wait, wait, wait. <laughs> no, Indonesia is a tropical island, tropical country actually. So Indonesia is a tropical country. We have only two seasons, rainy season and dry season. That's, well, that, sometimes... that's actually not true. You yeah. also have durian season and manga season. <laughs> Banjir season. A banana season, flood season, dry season. You have a lot of seasoning. That's true. And the Netherlands is on the northern hemisphere, like a uh, majority of the countries. And we have four seasons, uh, autumn, winter, spring and summer. And the weather in Indonesia is quite stable. If it's dry season, then it will be like blasting hot. It can be 36 degrees Celsius. Meanwhile, in here, in the Netherlands, is really really unstable even in summer it's like it can be like super hot but then suddenly it can be raining it is so unstable that people here use it as the main discussion let's just say if you meet other people and yeah, after saying like, how are you, blah, 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 then they will talk about the weather. So we have a lot of winds, the temperatures change a lot. You better bring a raincoat or an umbrella if you go out a lot. But in Indonesia, I only have to worry about wearing my shorts and my t-shirt and maybe my motorcycle helmet. And in Indonesia, even if uh, it is raining or it's windy, the rain drops is like warm warm water right and the wind is also warm but in here even if it's like blasting sunny hot day if there's a wind then it's a cold wind you know for me at least tropical girl yeah for you yeah because for me i'm sweat i'm sweating a lot for you it's cold <laughs> yeah <sighs> and the third one is my favorite topic is food. So basically, the Netherlands is potatoes and Indonesia is rice. No, actually, there you go. Next topic for you. For you is bread and potato. Yeah. For us, rice, it's rice. and rice and rice. So usually for breakfast, nasi goreng. Bubur ayam lah. Or bubur ayam, yeah, yeah. nasi goreng also can. So, and lunch is, yeah, can be nasi padang. Oh, I love pasti masih. Or, um, yeah, nasi campur, or whatever, bakmi, sate ayam. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> sate ayam with lontong, rice. And also for dinner, yeah, it can be anything, rice with. Uh, yeah, like what stuff. Even there's a saying about Indonesian people that kalau nggak makan nasi itu belum makan. 
Another thing that people that do not come from the Netherlands find a bit weird is that uh, Dutch people tend to have a sandwich for lunch. It's always some bread with some spread or chocolate sprinkles or some cheese. And this is Roman's lunch. Homemade bread. Not really warm food and it's not a lot usually. It's like we have some unwritten rule here that you cannot eat a warm meal more than once a day. So if someone would let's say eat a warm pasta or something for lunch, then it could be that your, your colleagues at work uh, might say like, uh, what, you're having pasta? So then what do you have for dinner? Like, does not compute. <laughs> We like our potatoes in the Netherlands. Um, if you would ask me what is a typical Dutch meal, I'll show you a few pictures. We have, for example, boerenkool, bloemkool with the gravy sauce, witlofschotel, and andijvi. And that's basically it. It's just potatoes with vegetables and some meat. This time, pet. Yeah, well, yeah, we can stamp it with these things. We make really mashed potatoes out of it. Yeah. But it doesn't have to be like that. It can also be something like this. And we just use a fork. And we just destroy the potatoes like this. We just mash it on our plate. And then we're done. And we call that prakken. And another big difference between Dutch food and Indonesian food is Dutch food is only salt and pepper. Meanwhile, Indonesian food, yeah, come on, we have a lot, man. Kita pake pala, kunyit, uh, ketumbar, anything. Dan itu juga kan kenapa mereka datang menjajah kita. The so Dutch food is not very interesting to look at, and the taste is also rather plain, and that's why a lot of Dutch people, they love to eat Indonesian food. When you see Asian restaurant here, usually it's like a mash between Chinese food, Indonesian food, and sometimes also Japanese food. But, but it's not really authentic. No, of course my, not. For, for my point of view, for my taste, yeah, because I'm spoiled. Like Indonesian people are spoiled. The spices is like our comfort zone, kind of, if you can say it like that. So for me, and most of my Indonesian friends that moved here, it's a, it's a constant craving for Indonesian food. Especially because all the spices here is super duper expensive compared to Indonesia. Uh, yep. It's like, kalau ke pasar, Bisa beli ketumbar seplastik paling cuma berapa sih lima ribu sepuluh no no sepuluh ribu bahkan lebih cuma kali lima ribu di sini cuma dapat sih itu kayak bisa tiga puluh ribu so I will definitely bring those spices from Indonesia. Mm -hmm. And not only that, not only the spices that are different, also spiciness. I don't know how many times I've seen you or friends of you they they travel abroad. And you know what they bring? Dua puluh saset saus sambal ABC. Uh, <laughs> yeah, because in here not only it's expensive, it's more expensive, of course, uh, but also it's not spicy, man. The, the chili sauce that you can find in their supermarket, not Asian supermarket, yeah. The taste it's either salty or sweet. Yeah, but far from spicy. Yeah. And another thing that I've seen Indonesians love very much is their fried food. Gorengan. And MSG. <laughs> Micin. Indomie. Indomie Astaga. Yeah, we don't know. Man, remember like last year when we went to the, to the Netherlands, we packed like 60 Indomie. pieces of Indomie just because um, like my parents wanted to eat some, my brother wanted to eat some. We wanted to eat a lot. We were planning to stay here for three weeks, you know. Uh, you gotta survive one way or another. Well, it's not like they don't have Indomie here. But it's different. Yeah, well, the, the MSG uh, amount ingredients, I think they threw it away. Karena di sini dilarang. 
Yeah, yeah, I think it's not good for your health if you have it too much addictive. Talking about gorengan, in here in the Netherlands, they also have their famous fried snacks. For example, frikandel. Yeah, a mix of different kinds of meat poured into a sausage. Croquet. A ragu of meat poured into a sausage shape. Bitterballen. A uh, ragu paste into a ball shape. Usually eaten with mustard. And then cassoufle. Yeah, cheese souffle. <laughs> and they also have like kind of an unusual one, a uh, bami ball. Deep fried noodles refried into a ball shape. Nasi schijf. Deep fried rice refried into a puck shape. Yeah. And sometimes they can eat it for dinner with french fries. We also have other snacks in the Netherlands. For example, stoopwafel, which is a uh, caramel filled cookie. And bossebolle. Kaya kuesus. Atau kaya bir papa gitu ya. Yeah, and some hot chocolate sauce. Yeah, and also puffer chairs. It's like a mini pancake. Yeah. Okay, next topic is living mm -hmm. in both countries. One of the things that I miss now that I've been living back in the Netherlands for over nine months is the fact that we don't have people selling their stuff in front of our house. There's no tukang sate. Yay! Or in my neighborhood, my tukang sate is very special. He didn't say, hey. no, he said, hey. sometimes I answer him, I say, hey. and he said, hey. <laughs> there's no kwe putu. Tukang sospatu, sospatu. Tukang nasi goreng. Kangen banget ya, Pak. Yeah, in here it's really, really, really quiet. Yeah, I can sleep yeah. at night. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you can also sleep there. <laughs> Don't miss all of my... Man, I miss Gojek, man. <laughs> oh, yeah. So, sorry, Grab. Go food, if I wanted to order, takeaway and delivery at home. Uh, go massage, if I had a very tiring week. Go clean, if I needed someone to clean up my house. Go send, if I needed to send a package. Go box if I was moving places. Go block. Oh no, you don't have hey. that one. <laughs> so, go check. Mm, go ban. <laughs> go check, you can sponsor this post. In here, they also have uh, things like that. They have massages, they have Taos Bazaar. Taos Bazaar is printed now. Yeah. Home yeah, delivery. Home delivery for food. Um, and also the cleaning service. So they have it all also here, but it is more expensive compared to Indonesia. Another example is like ongkos tukang, kalau misalnya mau renovasi rumah atau pasang AC, uh, ya paling berapa sih, 100 ribu maksimum, ya kan? Uh, ya, at, at least waktu itu kita pasang AC 100 ribuan sih per unit. Nah di sini itu mahal banget. 30 juta pasang satu AC. Yeah. Jasanya sendiri lebih mahal dibanding AC-nya gitu. Makanya di sini uh, kita kebanyakan melakukan semua sendiri. Kalau kalian lihat di YouTube kita uh, di beberapa video, akan put linknya di sini. Uh, itu kita ngecat sendiri, uh, benerin lampu sendiri, semuanya sendiri gitu Bahkan ayahnya Robin juga benerin kamar mandi sendiri, renovasi sendiri gitu Karena memang uh, mahal banget compared to Indonesia Another thing that is quite different um, between our countries is the traffic <laughs> I think we can both say what the differences are Not because we've lived in both countries before But because also we both participated in traffic in both countries before. You know you see those countries in Asia where the traffic looks like complete mayhem? Well, yeah, Jakarta 
it can be like that as well. There are traffic rules and there is police that checks regularly. but um, there's still quite some people who are driving without a helmet or five people on one motorcycle. But surprisingly, I haven't seen a lot of accidents happening as I thought I would see in that chaos. Uh, usually a lot of the time it goes quite well because it seems that people drive a little bit slower, a little bit more careful. They do not really pay attention to the road signs. They pay attention to each other and any holes in the road. When you drive in Jakarta, especially, like you have, you cannot really be in like full speed, except in a highway, because yeah, it can be like suddenly motorcycle cutting you or like uncle cutting you. People cross the road. Also chickens. No. <laughs> Right. Oh, this is the <laughs> so yeah, you always have to pay attention to everything around you. So meanwhile, in uh, the Netherlands, everything is so uh, arranged. Arranged. So yeah, you can just like follow the rules, you know. And that's also why in here, usually when there's an accident, it's like a poof, like. I think a lot of uh, Western countries, um, we have a lot of rules and we're quite strict about them. We drive generally a lot faster. We pay a little bit less attention on other traffic around us, which means that if someone makes a mistake and a crash happens, the crash is usually a lot more hard compared to in Indonesia. But if you still look at the numbers, the amount of people who die in traffic in uh, Jakarta is a lot higher than here. They say that uh, you haven't really lived in Indonesia unless you have burned your leg on an exhaust pipe of a motorcycle. And also in the Netherlands, the public transport here is more integrated than uh, in Indonesia. But in Indonesia, you have various types of transport, like for example, the Angkot, Kopaja, Bajai, Bechak, Bentor. Bechak is not there, Pak. Bechak is there. Bechak is Just not in Jakarta. Yeah. It's not allowed anymore since 1988. But if you live just outside the Jakarta borders, like Bekasi, it's not outside Jakarta borders, it's like 9 hours. Yeah, but in Bekasi, it's still there. Yeah, it's a big one. 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 But now in Indonesia, it's getting more and more better. I think the time we go back to Indonesia or we visit Indonesia, it will be completely different. There's another thing that I noticed here. So I've been living in Indonesia for 10 years. I went back to my hometown. It's like time stopped, like almost nothing changed. Yeah, a few things changed, but not that much. Not but like a major thing, right? Yeah, exactly. But like if I've been away from Jakarta for six months, I come back, there are like six new skyscrapers and there is a new bus line. Jakarta grows really fast. There are actually a lot of other things that we want to discuss. One of those things are cultural differences, but we save that for another video. As a conclusion, there's no such thing as like this country is better than another country. Both Indonesia and the Netherlands have their own well, pluses, minuses, but at the end of the day, we love both countries. Yeah. And I miss Indonesia. Me too. So that's it guys, thank you for watching this video. If you're Indonesian that live in the Netherlands or you're Dutch people that live in Indonesia, leave a comment down below and tell us what do you feel about both countries. Don't forget to give a thumbs up and subscribe, subscribe. to our channel, hit the bell button so you get notified the next time we have a new video. And Suda Hi. Hi. 
Indonesia. I'm a potato kiamat! So you know how I survived so far? Terbalik. You should, yeah. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> so how do I manage to survive this long? <laughs> Can you see this? Can you face? Nah, Okay, another different thing. Okay. Bye. 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 Bye.